The event here in Mills River was a brief stop for the president, only about 30 minutes, and only took the stage and spoke to the crowd for about 10 minutes. And his message was a mix of politics and policy. You know, they are, right? Fake news. <laughs> it's very important for me to come to North Carolina because we wanted to be here, but your governor didn't allow it. At the very beginning of the president's comments today, he took a swing at two of his favorite targets, the media and Democratic governors like Roy Cooper. It's a preview of what we can expect to hear at the RNC. But he also hit on policy, the reason he was at this farming operation today. He announced another $1 billion for the Farmers to Families program. So far, they've already put out about 70 million boxes full of fresh produce, meats, and dairy items. It's a USDA program that keeps farmers at work and keeps people fed during the pandemic. Second Harvest Food Bank is a beneficiary. I talked with a farmer in the crowd from Surrey County who says he appreciates what the Trump administration has done for people like him. You know, for the first time, I mean, we we actually feel like we have somebody on our side. You know, some of the tariffs have, have been painful, but it's stuff that needed doing 30 years ago, and it, and it hurts at first, but down the road, it's going to be very beneficial to farmers. Altogether, we've delivered over $3 trillion in economic assistance to the American people, and the American farmer has done very well. I never hear any complaints from the American farmer. The president today also referred to America's farmers as the forgotten ones, people he says he will fight for that Democrats won't. Another preview of the messaging we can expect at the RNC. In Mills River, I'm Brianna Connor, WXII 12 News.